Morales, my name is Maya Savannah. I'm here with the gorgeous Leia Lewis. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Brilliant. So let's start from the beginning. Obviously, you your career started off when you landed your role in Skins. How did that even happen? Um, well, I was doing my A-levels and I went to a performing arts sixth form. So my teacher was just basically like, oh, Skins is coming back to town. You guys should go and audition. And I just thought, why not? Wow. Didn't really have anything to lose. Mm -hmm. And so. what opportunities has that brought? Just tons. Generally, just life experience, being yeah. able to like deal with difficult situations at a young age and kind of like just get through them really. And then, you know, also the opportunity to carry on acting and already sort of built up some kind of, you know, profile. So yeah, it's, it's really good for young actors. It's really great. That's amazing. And you have um, started film. well, you finished filming Beverly, the film, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, Beverly. It was like, well, what we did with Beverly, what the writers and directors and stuff did, so that we filmed basically a short film, mm -hmm. um, still fairly long, uh, and then now they're touring it and in hopes to kind of make it a feature mm -hmm. length. So, um, yeah, that was, that was really amazing as well. And what is it about? Beverly is about a mixed race girl growing up in Leicester in the 1980s, which is why I was so, when I first read the script, I was so into the idea of the project because obviously being mixed race, you can really relate. And also it's just about, you know, you have so many stories about sort of what, it's, what it was like to be white at that time with the National Front and Margaret Thatcher and what it was like to be black, but no one really talks about what it was like to be mixed race, you know, with a white mum and a black dad. It's kind of like really uncovered yeah. ground. So... I just thought it'd be really interesting to get involved with and really, I was just really passionate about mm -hmm. it. It was good. Tell us a bit more about your character. Do you feel like you have any similarities to her? Oh, loads. She's yeah. like proper tough, like doesn't take anything from anyone. And it was great because I had to do a, a slightly like Midlands Northern accent. And it's <laughs> wow. just, it was just really fun. There was a lot of swearing involved and a lot of like... Preview of that accent? Oh no, I can't do it. I can't do it here. And also I can't do it without swearing because it was oh. so like... It was really, the whole script was really like a lot of, you know, flipping the fingers and stuff like that. It was, you know, but it was great, great that must fun. Have been fun. Yeah. Well, what would you say the difference between filming a series and filming a film actually is? Do you know what? There actually is, is not really that much difference. You'd think that maybe with a series, because they know how long it's going to take or because, because it's such a long-winded thing, there'd be more time to kind of play about with things, but it's always just, like, everything is so, like, duh, 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 yeah. duh. There's no, you know... And with this, it was the same. It's like, you need to get this in this amount of time. And so there wasn't really that much difference. It's mm -hmm. just, like, you just have to go in and do it, do your best, and then hope that it looks good. And, of course, it's been... Your career so far has been very successful. Is there anyone that you feel like you'd love to work with in the future? Um... There's loads of people. I couldn't even begin. No a, a lot of great British actors. It's great actually because top of my list was like uh, Vicky McClure. Like she's one of she's my favourite actress right okay. now. And in Beverly, she played my mum. So it was oh, just wow. like that for me was yeah, accomplished. That. Yeah, it was like amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just loads of really great British actors. You know, like Idris Elba as yeah. well. You know, just like. Because I just love what's coming out of England at the moment. Like, you know, I'm just really proud of that. So, there's, but there's so many. I England really and, of course, Bristol, my hometown. Oh, yes. <laughs> Our shared hometown. It's lovely. Represent. Really lovely. <laughs> now, it does seem like it's all going up for you. You have been in music videos, a career. Have you t managed to process it, take it all in yet? Yeah, yeah. Because, it, you know, if, when I look back, it's like, you know, a lot's happened for me in the last, like, few years. Yeah. But there has been space in between each project. And, you know, after you film something, then there's the whole editing thing. You kind of forget that you filmed it. So there's a lot of space in between that you're kind of doing other things or not really thinking about it. So, yeah, I've done, I've done quite a bit and it's really great. But at the same time, it's kind of like, have I? You kind of, you know, yeah. so this is quite... Everything's quite spaced out. And in your spare time, you did actually mention you started going to university. That's so amazing. And I have to say inspirational for a lot of people. What made you choose to do that? Um, I don't know. I just, I quite like, my mum thinks I get bored of things really quickly. I don't, but I just quite like having my fingers in like a lot of pies, you know, doing a lot at, at once. I get bored really easily. Yeah. It's really easy for me to be like oh, I've got nothing to do. Like, even if I've got, like, work lined up, mm -hmm. I'm still like, yeah, but what am I going to do right now? You yeah. know, so that's like, partly why I went to uni. And also because I really missed 
you know, learning. And when I was 18, I really wasn't ready mm. to kind of sit down, like you were saying earlier, you know, sit down and really yeah. give myself over to like studying. And whereas now I thought, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. And, you know, I wanted to learn how to be behind the camera as well, which my course really incorporates. So okay. that was really great. Yeah. And speaking of success, um, of course, you are going to be the autumn front cover for a more issue. Congratulations. I am, yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Um, I don't really know what to say. I just feel really quite honoured, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. You it's it's just really pictures. nice. They look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am excited, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, yeah. That's going to be fun. Who would you say is your favourite artist at the moment? Oh, that's so difficult. I, I really... It's just such a difficult mm. question to answer. I really like... Um, oh, I don't know. I really like... There's just too many, you know, I'm into like that kind of like whole synth kind of like disco, blah, blah, blah thing, like, you know, like disclosure and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I love disclosure or like, um, I don't know. I really like a lot of hip hop, like current hip hop. I really mm -hmm. like like Joey Badass and stuff like that, like okay. really summery stuff. Yeah. But at the moment I'm listening to loads of old stuff, like mm -hmm. neo kind of R&B, like neo soul, like Erica Badu and stuff like that. Nice. That's my summer music. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if our Amaral's wanted to know, would you ever consider making music? I do like to sing, but I just, I, it's so funny that I can be in front of a camera and like act, but I just can't sing in front of people. That's no. like one of my biggest fears. <laughs> like, honestly, I just, I find it so... Can you sing? I can, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I can sing. I featured on like one or two sort of backing tracks with really? my friends. Yeah, like yeah. sort of in college, especially. Yeah. I don't have like an awful voice, yeah. but I just, it's just the concept of even the idea of it is just way too scary. Well, at least you're multi-talented. <laughs> Like strangling cats. Um, <laughs> but what I want to do now is I want to play a little game. I just my fire around. I'm going to give you two comparisons and just tell me which one you like, which one feels the best to you, which one you prefer. Okay. okay? All ready? right. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Salad or burgers? Burgers. Nights in or nights out? Nights out. Pint or vodka? Pint. Ooh. Bristol or London? Oh, that is so <laughs> difficult. Oh, London. <laughs> Traitor. I know, I know. Oh, okay, trainers or heels? Trainers. Okay, relationship or single? Single. <laughs> Muscles or tats? Tats. Mm, okay, facial hair or none? Ooh, facial hair. Uh, looks or humour? Humour. Oh, definitely, perfect. Okay, I love that. Um, okay, our Amaral's wanted to ask two questions. Well, they are sent in a few questions, but we picked the top two. Um, you ready for them? Yes. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, right now, I would have to say... Oh, I'd have to say Tom Hardy. Ooh, oh, my gosh. He is literally, true. like... <laughs> Everything. Just stunning. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah it'd have to be okay. Tom Hardy. Mm -hmm. um, and what is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, there are so many. <laughs> so many. I can't even... Like, I come up with a recent one. Oh, recently, there was someone I hadn't seen for, like, about a year. Mm -hmm. And I ended up... It's an actor. I won't say his name. But I ended up in an audition with him. And um, he was like, oh, my gosh, Leia, it's really nice to see you. I was like, oh, it's so nice to see you, too. He was someone that I found quite irritating, like, in the past. He wasn't a bad person. Oh, I just, he just annoyed me. <laughs> and he, I was like, oh, my gosh, so nice to see you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, put your number in my phone. So he started putting his number in my phone and it came up as so-and-so, do not answer because I don't oh, saved it as oh that like a year ago. And it was really like, uh, is this, is this my... Was, and then we had to sit with each other and wait to be called How in. How did you get yourself out of that? I did. I just lied on the spot. I can't even remember what I said, but it was like, he just knew. He just knew I was yeah. lying. He was like, sure. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, brilliant. That, that, that happened like the other day. But things, things like that generally seem to happen to me a lot. It's my own fault, but it was so painful. It was so painful. Oh my gosh, Leah, it's been an absolute pleasure. We definitely do look forward to seeing you on the front cover of the Other More Issue. My name's Maya Savannah, this is more TV, thanks for watching. <laughs>